I'm back. I'm still on page 16 and I'm now about to do example two, which is again, another paired samples test. I wanna just focus on the fact that we have the same institution, which is the same subject, who's now been measured twice for both in-state and out-of-state tuition. So let's read our, our question. It says, below are tuition rates from several state colleges, both for in and out-of-state residents. Is there evidence to show a difference in tuition rates? Difference in tuition rates. Write your hypotheses, perform the test, and find the test statistic, the p-value, and state your conclusion. Okay, well, first of all, they said, is there a difference? So I want to begin. Now, we know this is from Chapter 18. I'm not going to make as many notes as on the previous problem. But I want to begin by writing our mu d's because this is, again, the mean of the differences that we're going to find. So if whenever, at some point, we're going to need to pause this video and make sure that that data is in list 1 and list 2. So right above in-state tuition, I'm going to put that in list 1 and out of state is in list two. And in our previous example, we were told a direction. We wanted to make sure that students scored better. But in this example, we're just asked, is there a difference in tuition rates? So if there's no difference, then the two lists would be the same, and therefore when we subtract, their mean would be zero. If they are different, then we're just looking for a mean that is not zero, right? So it doesn't say, is out of state more, is in state less or whatever. It just says, is there a difference? So that's all we can test here. Okay, so with this information in mind, you're gonna put your data into L1 and L2, then create list three. Remember my calculator videos that I mentioned in the previous example? Make sure you set list three to be L1 minus L2, okay? Once we've done all this, then we're gonna run a t-test on data where mu naught is zero, L3 is where our data is located for this test, and we're gonna test the not equal to option for our alternative hypothesis. All right, I'm going to run right into my results here. So if you need to pause and go ahead and run it, make sure you do that. T is huge and negative. So it's negative 7.1125. And the P value here is, wow, 1.3 times 10 to the negative fourth. Woo. Oh, oh, neg oh, excuse me, negative sixth. My goodness. I can't read my own handwriting. Well, actually, it's printed, so I don't know what I was just reading. Okay, the p-value being 1.3 times 10 to the negative sixth versus an alpha level of 0.05. Just to clarify, any p-value that has scientific notation is automatically going to be less than whatever alpha level we have been provided. So this is definitely smaller. We're moving the decimal six places to the left, putting five zeros in front of the first leading digit of one. So that's a very tiny answer. Mm. This means we get to reject the null. Oh, my dog is excited about it. I don't know if you can hear her. Um, and then I get to say that there was evidence to show a change. So there is enough evidence to show and then what did we really show here? Uh, we wanted to show a difference in tuition rates, but that's exactly what we showed. So a difference in the tuition rates. Excellent work here, guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments feature below.